Candy for Thunder Horse Ascendant. I am here today because we are doing Missing Link Project. So if you've been following along with us, you know that we are doing all of the skills in this book and eventually we will be getting to the projects. Um, I just want to give you a heads up that not next coming week, but the week after we have some friends who are going to be joining us on the channel to be doing some of the little skills and projects so that's always fun we uh, love to build our community so if you would like to participate um, please go down to the description box below and you're going to find my email address just email me let me know that you want to participate maybe do a video we're just sharing in a google folder so um, i can put them up on my youtube so everybody is welcome to participate if you would like let's get down to the mat see what we're working on today all right guys here we are down on the mat today we are going to make hook clasps so this says create a double hook clasp using four inches of 18 gauge wire bend the wire in half and press the bend tightly with the chain nose plier as shown in figure one uh, okay grasp blow both flush cut it and grasp both cut ends in the back of the round nose plier. Roll the plier forward to form a simple loop. Grasp the bent end with an 8.5 millimeter barrel of the bale forming plier to roll the plier forward and to shape the hook. Okay, so we need the chain nose, the round nose, the flush cutter, and the bail making plier. Okay, we also need some 18 gauge wire in four inches, they said. Four inches, okay. Last time I didn't measure the wire and my hook got a little weird so this time I think I will measure it all right let's zoom in a little bit so you can see the photo so here's figure one so this says take four inches of wire 18 gauge wire and bend the wire in half and press the bend tightly with the chain nose plier so that's what they got there so Okay, I'm just gonna ever so slightly bend this. Kind of looks like a bobby pin, all right. And then push it together, they said, with the chain nose. So it looks like they got theirs, ooh, looks like they got theirs pretty tight together, like that. Okay, so I am going to, where's my nylon jaw player, just to kind of get this looking a little better, I think. Better just do that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, step two, flush cut the wire ends. Grasp both ends in the back of the round nose plier. Okay, so flush cut, got it. Grasp the ends in the back of the round nose plier and roll the plier forward to form simple loops as seen in figure two. Okay. They look like they're kind of down on their player pretty far. So that's what I will do. Okay. Grasp the bent end with the 8.5 millimeter round barrel of the bale making pliers and roll the plier forward to shape the hook. Okay. Shape the hook. So that's right here. 
So it looks like when I hold my plier, the big end is on this side. So that's what it looks like they got. So it looks like this. Is that? I think that's right. And roll it around. That doesn't really look the same. Ooh. Okay, let me... This doesn't really look the same as this. I feel like it's got too much wire. It could be that this is not the biggest... This is not the 8.5 millimeter plier, but I'm, I'm like 98% sure it is. But I'm just going to cut in the middle of my loop right here. And so I still kind of have like a little loop going, but I'm just going to try to wrap it again to bring it up there. Oh, that's, that's the wrong one. I'm using this one. Okay. Yeah, that seems better. That seems better. That seems like what they got right there. I must have, uh, it looked like they were way down on their player here, but maybe mine, maybe, I'm not sure what happened there. Too much wire or, uh, I was too far down on the player. So, but, okay, now what? Work hardening. Work hardening is an important part, uh, sorry, an important concept to be familiar with in wire worker, working. When you bend, hammer, and coil wire, you are work hardening the wire. Technically speaking, the molecules in the wire are being moved and pressed closer together, causing the wire to become increasingly stiff. If wire becomes too stiff, it can eventually break under pressure. To work harden a specific portion of a wire link, such as a simple loop, use a rawhide or nylon mallet and a steel bench block. Okay, so that is the, this is the nylon mallet bench block. Make sure that your bench block is free of scratches and uh, otherwise the marks will transfer from your wire onto your wire. A rotary tumbler with mixed stainless steel shot is also extremely useful for work hardening wire links, especially groups at a time. Okay, so... <laughs> Here's an example of what you should not have. Mine has a uh, half a heart on it because I have a heart stamp and I don't know what happened that day. But anyways, they said, don't do it on there. <laughs> but now here's my question. Okay. So they have a little link here. It looks like they're work hardening it. And I have, um, I have some links that we, uh, jump rings that we had made the other day. Um, I'll link that video in the cards. And so I'm going to I'm going to do the work hardening. I'm just going to bring this together. And it says just hit it to work harden it a little bit. Okay. Okay. So technically I guess this would work. I don't know if I'm supposed to work hard in this it doesn't say it as seen in figure three and then it goes on to say about work hardening they don't have a picture of me work hardening this i don't know that i'm supposed to do that doesn't say so but i guess i'll just go like that see how that goes I don't know. <laughs> Leave it in the comments. Am I supposed to do that or not? Um, so this would work for your clasp, right? But I feel like I would probably, I would probably use a, this is a soldered ring, so it doesn't have a break in it. It's soldered or closed. A lot of times, um, I get these from Taylor's Falls and they'll have a little C on the bottle. If they're closed, that means that they don't open. And I would probably use that just for safety. It looks like I might have to open this just a smidge. Okay. 
Okay. So, there is our hook clasp. I'm pretty happy with it. I've never made one before. Um, so, I don't know if I'm supposed to work hard on it. I don't know if there's more to this story. Let us look. No, looks like next week we're going to be talking about finishing oxidizing solutions. And then moving into wire uh, links. Our friend Rosanna is going to be doing the bow ties next, next when, not next week, but the week after. Uh, so that is cool. Looks like we're moving into some little more high tech business here. But for this particular situation, um, I like it. I've, I've never made one before. I think that it's it feels very sturdy. I don't know if I should hit it more with the hammer, but there you go. That's what we got going on this week. So, I dig it. All right, guys. Well, I mean, we got a link out of it. I believe it to be usable. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to. Here's the questions you need to answer down below. <laughs> Am I supposed to hammer this? Should I bend the little the little hook out so that it's easier to hook onto my link? Do you think that using a soldered link is a good idea versus making your own for the clasp? Um, have you tried this? What did you do differently? Do I just need to practice it? Questions. But regardless, something I didn't know how to do before. So the missing link, you guys, like I said, we're getting moving in. Things are getting, things are getting dicey. Had to invite friends to come on over and help on out because, you know, things and stuff. But we are having a wonderful time. This is part of the learning process. Um, we're all learning together, including myself. Um, so... My little earrings jiggity. So uh I appreciate your patience. <laughs> Leave it in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel. I would truly appreciate that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.